About a month ago, I was asked by Wired to write a culture column for them, which was incredible because I thought, okay, you're the magazine of the future, and artists are the first visionaries of the future, and I'm trying to create a new future through all of the work I make. Soar all these amazing people I know. So I pitched stories about artists and activists who were responding to our changing world, artists who are interested in remaking the future in their own image, according to their deepest truths, because they cannot help be anything but what they are. And these artists I pitch just happen to include a lot of women and a lot of people of color. And I didn't pitch them because there are women and people of color. I pitched them because that's what most of humanity is. And this is what Wired said. To which I replied, I'd tell you what their answer was, but they never wrote back. But here's the essential point. I still want to write this column. And more importantly, you still want me to write it. Right now, I have multiple offers to host the column, which is amazing. But most of them can't pay the professional rate that Wired could. I make my living by writing. I'm a professional writer. And I do do a lot of writing for free, but if this column is going to be good, I can't do this for free. So here is my deal with you. And if you pledge more than a dollar per column? Shit, thank you. You can read more about my philosophy and the philosophy of the column below. But suffice to say, I'm tired of waiting. And all my friends are tired of waiting. And so are all the people I know who are making the best work. We are tired of waiting for permission. We are tired of waiting to be noticed. We are tired of having to convince people that our work is worth attention on the national and the global scale. We're not fringe. We're the mainstream. Who gets to decide what pop culture is? You do. We do. And we will. Thank you for watching. Yeah. Oh. Yeah.